welcome to EC Electronics. This is a video on ISRO Technical Assistant Exam Preparation and we are seeing the questions from 2018 ISRO Technical Assistant Exam. So we have already uploaded the part 1 of this video. This is a part 2. Okay. Also, I am planning to do the videos on IBPS Specialist Officer that is for IT Officer Main Exam Preparation for the Electronics Branch. Okay. So if you want to see uh, those videos, please do comment in the comment section. We'll be starting the series in the next week itself. Okay, so uh, let's see what is the first question for today's class. The initial content of a 4-bit serial in parallel out shift register is shown in the figure. It is 1100. After 4 clock pulses are applied, the content of the shift register is dash. So the initial content is 1100. So what will be after 4 clock cycles the content in the shift register. This is a serial in parallel out shift register. So the result or the options are A 010, B 1101, C 1111, D 1110. So this is actually a shift register with some logic connected. This is actually X NOR gate. Okay, so how is the content of the shift register being loaded is that it is first taking the XOR of these two last bits they taking the not and then that bit is loaded to the first all the other three bits are shifted to the right that is happening so the initial content is one one zero and zero and during the first clock cycle what is happening taking the XOR of these two bits the value is zero and if you take the not it is one so the first bit is one then Shifting these three bits. So 1, 1 and 0. Okay. In the second clock cycle what is happening? Taking the XOR of these two it is 1 and 0 XOR is 1. Taking its not then 0. So the 0 is loaded here. These three bits are coming. 1, 2, 3. Then during the third clock cycle 1, 1 XOR is 0. 0 is not is 1. So 1 then these three bits 0, 1 and 1. Then during the fourth clock cycle 1, 1 XOR is 0, 0 bar is 1. So 1 then this 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. So this is the result or the content present in this shift register during the fourth clock cycle. Okay. So can you see any option like this? Yes. The option B is showing a 1101 which will be the content of the shift register after the 4 clock pulse has been applied. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is option B. Okay, so let's see the next question. What is the absolute power corresponding to minus 30 dB? A. 1 millivolt. B. 1000 watt. C, 10 milliwatt, D, 1 watt. This is a very, very simple question. You should know only this thing that how to convert a power to dB power. That is, the absolute power, how to convert it into dB power. The equation is very common. The dB power or power in dB is equal to 10 log 10 of absolute power so if you don't know this equation just write it somewhere this is the equation power in db is equal to 10 log 10 of absolute power now we are given the value of power in db that is this one is given minus 30 db is equal to 10 log 10 of i'm calling the absolute power is x x so what is the value of x so take this 10 and divide with this 30. So you will get minus 3. So minus 3 is equal to 10 log 10 of x. So x is equal to 10 raised to minus 3. That is 1 milliwatt is the power in, sorry, is the absolute power. Okay, so this is how you have to calculate. And if you want to find the power in dB, just use this equation. So this is useful for your calculations. To convert db or in reverse okay so the correct answer for this question is option a which is one milliwatt okay question is in a broadcast super heterodyne receiver having no rf amplifier 
if if which is intermediate frequency is 455 kilohertz what is the image frequency if the receiver is tuned to 1000 kilohertz so this 1000 kilohertz is the source frequency so we need to find the value of image frequency so this is a direct equation image frequency is equal to source frequency plus 2 times intermediate frequency or IF. So, it is given that source frequency is 1000 plus 2 into what is your intermediate frequency? It is 455 kilohertz into 10 raised to 3. Okay, so if you solve this, the value is obtained as 1910 kilohertz. Okay, so the correct answer is 1910 kilohertz or your option B. Okay, so the equation is image frequency is equal to source frequency plus 2 IF. Okay, so the next question is the dielectric constant of a material used in a transmission line is 2. So the dielectric constant K is given as 2. What is the velocity factor of the line? The calcitic impedance is 300. So Z0 is given as 300 ohms. Okay, so what is the velocity factor? The velocity factor is given by the equation Bf is equal to 1 by a root of k, where k is the dielectric constant. So the value is 1 by root of 2. 1 by root 2 is 0 0.0707 or in percentage if expressed it is 70.7 percentage. Okay, so these values are given in percentage. So the correct answer for this question is option A which is 70.7 percentage. The Turing expression of, for the output of the logic circuit shown is what? So this is a simple logic circuit. We need to solve this uh, circuit and find the value of the result. The options given are option A, A bar, B bar plus A, B plus C bar, B, A, B bar plus B, A bar plus C, Option C, A, B, C bar plus A bar, B, C plus C, B. Option D, none of this. So, there are two gates here. This is a XOR gate. This is a NAND gate. Okay, so what is the output of XOR gate? If A and B are given as an input, the XOR gate will give an output of A bar, B plus A, B bar. Right? Here, what is happening? This, in, this output is coming here as an input and then it is multiplied with a C and then the product is taken that is inverted. Okay, so the output is actually A bar B plus A B bar into C the whole bar. Okay, so the main and the important thing you need to know to solve this question is De Morgan's law. If you know this De Morgan's law, you can do almost 90% of the logic simplifications or Boolean simplifications. Okay, so I am going to expand this A, B term. So this is a product term. Whole bar, according to the De Morgan's law is A bar plus B bar. That is, this is your A term, this is your B term. So A bar plus B bar that is A bar B plus A B bar whole bar plus C bar. Okay. Now you have to expand this term. So this is a sum that is this is a A term. I am just calling this term as A and this term as B. So A plus B the whole bar is given here. So what is the expansion according to De Morgan's law? It is a B the whole bar, right? So, A bar B plus A B bar the whole bar is equal to, according to the De Morgan's law, A bar B bar into A B bar the whole bar plus C bar is here. Now, again, you can expand this using the De Morgan's law. So, this is a product term. So, take its sum. So, A bar whole bar plus B bar into here again apply De Morgan's law. So A bar plus B bar whole bar plus C bar. Now A double bar is A. 
B double bar is B. Now this is two product terms. Okay, we uh, have uh, simplified it almost. Then apply, that is, then open this two brackets. So A into A bar is 0. Then A into B is AB plus B bar into A bar is B bar A bar plus B bar into B is 0. So that term also get cancelled. Plus hey, a C bar is present here. So C bar. So this is your expansion. That is AB plus B bar A bar plus C bar. So can you see any option connecting this? Yes, the first option itself is this. So if you rearrange this, uh, this according to the answer, it is A bar B bar plus A B plus C bar. So this is your result. So the first option is the correct answer, which is A bar B bar plus A B plus C bar. Okay, so this is your Boolean simplification result and the correct answer for this question is option A. Okay, so I hope this Boolean simplification is clear. In most of all Boolean simplifications or logic simplifications, you have to apply De Morgan's law mostly. So if you are not familiar with this, please do watch the video on Boolean simplification. I've done a lot of examples solving our Boolean expressions using various laws, De Morgan's laws and other things. So please do watch the videos. Okay. So uh, this is all for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.